How'd you like that cold weather game? Felt good. Felt you really like good. It? Yeah. Yeah. So you don't mind maybe having it happen again this week? No, I think we'll probably get the next two weeks, to be honest with you. So our guys, you know, I mean, you come to Nebraska, you're in the Midwest, you got to be able to play in, in all kinds of weather, right? And if you want to be an NFL guy, you don't get to just play in Miami and Texas. You're going to play in Green Bay and Chicago and everything like that. So, you know, we got to be able to play no matter what the elements are. And our offense is built to be able to go again in, in any type of weather. So it's we're, we're always prepared. What makes it so when you say that? Well, we, we can adjust everything we do. We can we can be in heavier packages, all right, um, if we need to be. But we also can still spread it out, and our guys have the ability. We don't worry about if it's cold out or anything like that because we'll, if we need to practice in it, we'll do it. Um, but we can adjust accordingly to put ourselves in position because the defense, they still got to line up and run, and, do, and we can still get the ball in space, and then they got to be able to tackle us in space and everything. So um, if we need to pound it, we can pound it. If not, then we'll, we'll do what we need to do. But uh, our offense is built to, to whatever weather it is. Okay. With uh, Maurice's um, situation just kind of being hobbled a little bit, is this – set up to be maybe a day where you ride divine a little bit more um, than normal no I, I think you know mo obviously he's been a little dinged up but he'll, he's had a good week of practice um you know so we, we want to keep our one two punch now if something happens in the game and and we need to adjust then you know we'll be smart in that but you know we're only promised two more games so you know divine's got senior day on saturday and uh you know so he'll be ready to go if he has to go the the distance he will hopefully we can keep our one two punch going but most had a good uh, three days i guess today's wednesday right a good three days up to this point hey, i know you can't talk about specific prospects but you guys are hitting the junior colleges again pretty hard in this mm-hmm. recruiting cycle mm-hmm. what's been the response uh, of junior colleges and you know what how can those players help in ways immediately that maybe you don't want to sustain long term, but you need to fill short term holes? Well, I think in today's world with injuries and now with this transfer thing going on, you know, you're going to have to potentially look at, you know, junior college kids, you know, to fill spots, maybe more. Hopefully you don't get to that point. Uh, for us, we want junior college kids that, that, are, that, are, that are good kids that can really help fill a need. Uh, we're not looking for depth guys, and we're recruiting guys. We want a guy to be able to come in and, and have a chance to start. So, um, you know, that's our job in the evaluation process to find those guys. But, you know, I'll be honest with you, the reception uh, with all recruits has been outstanding. I mean, we can send them a lot of different statistical analysis, of, especially from an offensive perspective of how much we've improved. Uh, we just need a few more guys. And then the defense, we got to give them a few more guys too uh, at certain spots that can come in. Because you think about it, as every side of the ball gets better, then if the defense gets two more stops, and that's two more stops or two more opportunities for us on offense. We're better on special team. We get better field position. So we just have to keep improving the roster. You just can't fix it all in one year. So you're sending them data um, just this year, like how much the, the offense has improved this year? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, this Hard. is year one, I think. And again, don't quote me on this, but we were 88th or 100 and whatever, nine last year, and then we're up to in the top 20, whatever it is. Just again, right. you guys know the stats more than me, but there's that different stuff. And I, I copy, screenshot that, and I send it to recruits. Hey, look at this. And this is year one. We got a freshman quarterback, you know, um, and, and, and three old linemen coming back. You know, we just got to keep filling and getting more playmakers. But this thing, as we continue to build it and keep changing the culture, and these guys are having fun every single day, I'll tell you, if you come out to practice, you wouldn't know if we were 10-0 and 0 or, or whatever it is where we're at right now. You know, these guys have been awesome. It's fun to come to work. And, and you know, again, um, yeah, would we like to have more wins? Absolutely. But I tell you what, you know, we're playing, we're getting better each week, every day, and, and that's, you know, what our goal is. Hey, with Jeff Sims leaving Garden City, how does that maybe change your relationship there going forward? I mean, you haven't, I mean, because he was obviously a guy that you guys have worked pretty good with here the last several months. Well, you know, I can't talk about a specific school, uh, you know, any school that we've had a relationship with. You know, if, if there's a change, then obviously we have to evaluate and see what's going to be the best fit for us when it comes to junior college. With the junior college piece of it, uh, obviously having been in that, you know, we need school or schools that we can trust that if we put a kid in there, we're going to, you know, he's going to get graduated and we're going to get him back. Um, you know, so uh, it's kind of scratch your back, we scratch your back, they scratch ours type deal. 
um, helping them out. They help us out. So, um, you know, there's there's not in today's world, you're not placing 10 guys like maybe back in the day. It's it's, you know, here's one or two. And then here's a list of names of guys that, hey, you might want to look at that might not have uh, the grades that might be able to help your football team. So um, but that, you know, having a junior college relationship with a school or schools is very important because you want to be able to farm guys out and uh, you know as you build your roster it's never just high school kids you got the graduate transfer thing juco transfers maybe a regular transfer that sits out uh, so it's really an nfl model in a sense of free agency drafting and all that is how i look at it everybody um talks about their run defense number one in the country what makes it so I mean what what jumps out at you about it well the thing about what they do a good job is they know what they're what, what who they are where their deficiencies are and it's hard to get them twice uh, in a row on a deal so if you hit them on one play they have even within that series they have the ability to adjust it's not like they wait to the sideline so they know where their their deficiencies are their guys are really keened in on what their responsibilities are, their technique and fundamentals and gaps and where they fit are really, really good. They're a really well-coached defense, I tell you. They're really, really good. Uh, so this is an awesome challenge for us. Um, you know, we've, we've got some stuff, just like they'll have some stuff for us. So, you know, um, they've been the, you know, they, they do a good job of physicality. They've been kind of the bully in, in the league a little bit defensively. So, um, you know, when you meet a bully, you got one or two choices. You either go, you, you, you got to meet them or they, they get you. So hopefully our guys are ready to, to go out there and have a great fight.